Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you yet another Eid delicacy, the date cake. So I have used two types of dates. One is the individual dates and one is the date that comes in a pack with date syrup in it. So these are the individual dates that I have used. I prefer using this because it has less sugar and it sits well in the cake itself. And these are the compressed dates. This is soaked in date syrup and it is too mushy. I would prefer if you can get the individual dates. So here I have taken 500 grams of bitter dates, one teaspoon cinnamon powder plus quarter teaspoon of nutmeg mixed together, one teaspoon of baking powder, one tablespoon of lemon zest, one teaspoon baking soda, 250 grams of butter or margarine, three large eggs, 250 grams of brown sugar or white sugar, 250 grams of flour, 100 grams of cashew nuts. Half a cup of warm water to soak the dates, half a tablespoon of rose water, 2 teaspoon of vanilla essence and 1 teaspoon of almond essence. First, let's soak the dates in warm water and baking soda. This will make the dates more lighter in texture and this will sit on the cake batter very well. This will prevent the dates sinking down to the bottom of the batter. Make sure the baking soda gets mixed very well and then you pour it all over the dates. Now let's give it a good mix and leave it to soak for one hour. Let's get started with creaming the butter and sugar together. Crack the eggs one at a time. Make sure you mix the batter very well. But still at this stage you will see some sugar granules. That's completely fine. Now let's sift the dry ingredients to the batter. I'm adding the flour first, the nutmeg and the cinnamon powder and the baking powder. Now let's sift the flour. Do not skip this step because this cake batter is going to be a very thick batter compared to the normal cake batters. So we need to incorporate more air to the cake. You can add in the lemon rinse at this stage. Don't be afraid if your cake batter looks like this at this stage. We are going to incorporate more moisture by adding the dates. So this is how the cake batter is going to look. It is very thick in texture. This is the right time to add in the flavorings. I'm going to use the rose water first. Next, you add in the vanilla essence. Lastly, the almond essence. Give it a good mix with a wooden spoon. Now, let's add in the dates. This is going to give more flavor and more moisture to the cake batter. Now, at this stage, you will be tempted to use the electric hand beater. But please do not do that. Use the wooden spoon to mix the batter. Lastly, you can add in the cashew nuts. And give it a good mix with your wooden spatula or a wooden spoon. So today I'm using a springform pan. It is a little tedious to use this type of a pan. If you see, there's a 
click where you remove the base and the border separately so you have to make sure you fix it well before you pour in the batter the next step is very important we are going to dust the pan with flour so for that first you take a generous amount of butter to your hand I prefer using my hand because this way I will feel which area needs more butter now let's dust the pan with flour you have to make sure that all corners of the pan has got the flour so take your time and try to get the flour all over the pan evenly especially on the border can you see you need to carefully coat the whole pan with the flour now the inner ring try to maximum coat the inner ring with the flour dust out all the excess flour now let's spoon in the cake batter evenly all around the cake pan do not disturb the flour coating that we have done earlier let's bake it in a preheated oven on 180 for 30 to 40 minutes 20 minutes later let's check whether the cake is done if it's not done just turn the cake so that it will get baked evenly now we have baked the cake for 30 minutes let me check whether it's done insert a toothpick in and then you will see very less cake crumbs attached to the toothpick and your cake is perfectly baked now let's make the caramel sauce for the date cake i have here one cup of heavy cream or whipping cream and half a cup of brown sugar and quarter teaspoon of cardamom powder make sure the cardamom powder is finely powdered boil the whipping cream and the brown sugar together once the cream come to a boil you can add in half a teaspoon of the cardamom powder and give it a good mix Take the pan off the heat and add in quarter cup of butter. At this stage your sauce will be still very runny but with time it will thicken up. Now let me introduce you to the star of the day, a beautifully baked delicious date cake. So I have left it to cool for half an hour and now I'm going to use a palette knife and loosen the sides of the cake. Don't forget to loosen the side of the inner ring as well. Now please don't rush this stage. You have to gently loosen the cake. If not, your cake will crack. Now keep a plate over the cake and turn it upside down. Be very careful with this. Look at this beauty. Isn't it beautiful? If you see closer, you will see the dates and the cashew nuts evenly being distributed around the cake. Now you can pour the sauce all over the cake and decorate the cake as you wish. So here's my beautiful Eid date cake. This year we went with a rustic look for our Eid theme. So this cake perfectly blends well with the whole theme. Hope you guys enjoyed my video tutorial till we meet again with yet another interesting recipe.